I thought today for you dudes we'd talk a little bit about Spyro because man it has been like honestly years since we last did any kind of content to do with our favorite purple dragon. Uh, Spyro if you guys know me is one of my all time favorite video game franchises obviously back in 2018. Uh, we got the unveiling of Spire the Reignited Trilogy, a sort of remake you remaster -y type thing of the three original PlayStation 1 Spire games, and it was glorious to know that finally, after such a long time beyond the Skylanders phase, Spyro is coming back to his classic format. Uh, obviously around the same time too, about uh, a year before, we also got the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy and that was fantastic to see. So to see both Crash and Spyro returning, went to tell us, okay, Activision are finally gearing up to actually use these franchises again, but not in the sort of toys to life or mind over mutants uh, type setup for Crash more so for their original formats, especially with then seeing the continuation there of Crash. We got Crash 4, It's About Time. Uh, that was, for the most part, a traditional Crash Bandicoot game. Activision then went ahead, got Beanox to create Crash Nitro Fuel, which, by the way, one of the best kart races of all time. There are moments there I think it's actually better than Mario Kart. Yes, that's right, better than Mario Kart. And last year, we also got Crash Team Rumble. That's the thing though, there's been a little bit of a trend with the whole Crash and Spyro thing. Spyro has literally received one game since his return, and Crash Bandicoot has had the Insane Trilogy, Crash 4, Crash Team Racing, Nitro Fueled, and Crash Team Rumble. That's four games since the initial return. Now, I love Crash Bandicoot. I am most certainly more of a Spyro fan, but I grew up with both of them. I just like the prospect of more of an open world type level design for each of the different worlds you go to for the levels of Spyro, uh, compared to the kind of more so confined on rails type platforming that Crash Bandicoot has. Either way though, they're both fantastic IPs. However though, it is 2024, it has been six years since the Reignited Trilogy, Crash has received four games, it is about time the Purple Dragon receives his next game. And we're talking about Spyro 4 here, man. A true to the bones fourth installment using that traditional format. You collect gems, you collect eggs, whatever it might be, you know, orbs for Spyro 2, whatever it might be. Uh, you go to different worlds, you play a various amount of different mini games. We need that. It's about time. No, not Crash Bandicoot 4 about time. We finally got that, and yes, it was about time. We're talking about Spyro 4. Please give it to us. We are hungry. It's 2024, and it got me thinking, because this year is the Chinese New Year of the Year of the Dragon, which, by the way, Spyro 3 back in the day released during that same Chinese New Year. Hence, the game's name is literally Spyro 3. Year of the Dragon kind of got me thinking what better way to debut the fourth Spyro game than to reveal it during the Year of the Dragon. Just don't call it Year of the Dragon because we've already got Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. That, that's going to cause mass confusion. Now we kind of have received a little bit of Spyro stuff between the time of Reignited Trilogy to now obviously. Uh, Crash and Spyro tend to make cameo appearances in each other's games. They're sort of synonymous with one another. Other, we've recently had Spyro appear in Crash Team Rumble. Most of us were expecting this, and it has recently happened. Very cool to see. He also got into Crash Team Racing, Nitro Fueled, and on top of that too, even the Crash Bandicoot mobile game. I think though the Spyro community is getting to a point where they're getting a little bit exhausted of Spyro just appearing uh, as a cameo thing, and it's sort of like, okay, Crash has had his run, uh, let's just get a new game, please, for the love of God. Considering too that the old, what you could consider Spyro 4 was not good by any means, especially coming from the masterpiece of a trilogy that Spyro was in PlayStation 1, Enter the Dragonfly was not that great. Um, though I do have some like nostalgia soup over Year of the Dragonfly, when you just compare it to all three of the original games, yeah, it's... It's bad! Not to mention, too, the actual performance in that game across any of the systems that it released on 
was god awful. Like that game would dip down to like 10 frames a second. This was obviously Spyro's first game not being developed by that of Insomniac, so hence why the quality dipped so much. After Year of the Dragonfly, it was then the departure away from the original format of what Spyro started as, more of a platformer collectathon thing, and went kind of more towards the realm of action orientated. Not to say that something like Hero's Tale wasn't a bad game, it was actually pretty good, definitely better than Into the Dragonfly. But Year of the Dragonfly would be the final installment that used the traditional Spyro setup. So I think for a long time, fans have been wanting a true fourth Spyro installment using that traditional setup. And that's just the thing, I really do hope that, you know, if Activision do decide to make Spyro 4, which I do believe it is going to happen, he's still very much prevalent right now as a cameo appearance, that they keep the games to the traditional format, being that of a collectathon platform. I really hope that they don't start to go down the road of where we start to see Spyro and New Beginning with the more mature Dark Spyro games, even though I actually really like those, as well as A Hero's Tale, uh, being that of more action orientated. Now over the years there have been like different talkings of leaks and things basically suggesting that Aspire 4 could potentially be in development, but honestly nothing concrete. I do have a good feeling though that because Crash has received a numerous amount of games since Reignited Trilogy, I think that Activision will probably be looking at the franchise thinking to themselves we should probably do something with this. Another big thing though that has happened since Spyro's return is of course the Xbox acquisition of Activision. It is kind of crazy to think that one of the most famous old school PlayStation mascots is now technically owned by Xbox. I know a lot of people were and still are pretty damn worried about this thinking that Oh damn, is Crash and Spyro now going to be an Xbox exclusive? We have seen that Crash Team Rumble released on all systems, and just because Xbox do acquire these said different studios and developers is not to say that they're going to keep certain games exclusive to the system. I just simply do not believe that if we do get another Crash Bandicoot, a fully fledged one, or of course Spyro 4, I don't believe it will be an Xbox exclusive. I think people need to kind of look at this as a really beneficial thing. They now literally have Xbox backing them, even though Activision are big money bag money bags anyway, they kind of don't really need Xbox. Still, it's nothing but additional financial support. And if anything, I can imagine that Xbox would likely be pushing Activision, suggesting that you should probably do something with Spire, given that it is a pretty successful franchise. Maybe not as successful as Crash, and that's probably why we're seeing so much Crash Bandicoot, but it is still definitely something that captures the hearts of a lot of gamers, and no doubt a fourth entry would do incredibly well. So that's probably one of my most anticipated reveals currently. Uh, I desperately want a fourth Spire, just envisioning what they could do with Spire's classic format, with current modern day technology, making those worlds that you go to even more expansive and bigger. Reignited Trilogy is also a beautiful looking game and I think that Toys for Bob did a fantastic job of capturing that traditional art style of OG Spyro into more modern. So to see a fourth one, that's a pretty exciting prospect. However guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions towards Spyro 4. Do you think 2024 could be the year that will finally get the unveiling of a fourth entry. It is the year of the dragon after all. Other than that guys, be sure to follow me on my other social platforms. Links in the description down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with all the latest and greatest. I'm Cynical, hopefully having a fantastic day, and we'll talk real soon. Peace.